Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to uh, Pokemon Showdown. This is part two of my official Smogon Tour ladder run where basically I am trying to qualify for a 64-man tournament and uh, I have till Sunday to do so where I have to try and get top four out of all the ladder tour seven people. Uh, Solon is currently in first for them with uh, 1857. I am about 400 points behind so I have a long way to go. And unfortunately, I'll only be able to record this for today, Thursday, as well as tomorrow being Friday, since uh, Saturday and Sunday I will be busy. So I will most likely be doing a lot of stuff off screen, a lot of grinding off screen if I want to try and qualify, which I am trying to qualify. But if I don't have the time for it, then, you know, it'll be another time. But uh, in any case, I am using this hyper offensive team that my boy Cosign did pass me. It's basically Mega Altaria Magnezone. Really, really uh, common offensive core when you're using Mega Altaria. Basically, Magnezone just traps everything that Altaria is scared of, being Scizor, Pharaoh, Thorn, and Skarmory, and then you just set up for the Altaria sweep. My opponent right here, excuse me, just drinking some water, is actually kind of weak to Altaria. Um, Volcarona is a problem for me, though. My SD Garchomp can just sweep him if I can get rid of Landers, which looks to be a Stealth Rocker, so. I think that his best lead is, um, is Raikou versus me, honestly. Um, I really think it is. So, I want to lead off with something that can beat Raikou. Uh, I don't think Landers is the best lead versus me just because the majority of my team can beat it. I really want to lead Caudio though, uh, but I'm going to lead Altaria just because I want to Mega Evolve as quickly as possible. As he does lead Raikou like I was expecting. So, um, what I do want to do right here is just Mega Evolve and actually uh, fire off an Earthquake. I don't want to go for Return just in case he goes Volcarona. I don't think he'd go Volk, but I really don't want to go for Return and have him burn me. So, I'm just going to Mega Evolve and go for Earthquake as I'm expecting the Volt switch on out of there. Even if he goes Landers... That's fine. That's completely fine. Uh, the point is, I Mega Evolved. Didn't expect him to HP Ice because he wouldn't be able to beat me. And uh, he does go Metagross. So, able to get off a nice amount of damage on that Gross. Now, is Magnezone too obvious? He knows I have Landers. I'm hard switching directly into Magnezone. Yeah, he already knows I have Landers. I'm not going Landers. I'm hard switching directly into Magnezone. I'm going to try and trap him right here as he doubles back out into his Landers. Yeah, so... He uh, either feared the next Earthquake, which is fine. I didn't want to go for it just in case he had like Bullet Punch. I didn't want to take a lot of damage. I know it wouldn't have KO'd me, but I would have been in range of Raikou's HP Ice. So that's the reason why I switched out right there. Um, I do have 284 speed, so I definitely would have been able to outspeed him. But again, I just didn't want to risk him having Bullet Punch and doing a lot of damage to me. But into going out to Landers, I'm going to go directly into my um, Caldeo right here. As I could go out to my own landers and exchange rocks with him, but I want to threaten him with my Caldeo. So I'm just going to fire off a Scald because Scald is the best move in the entire game. Uh, you can say knock off and uh, a few other moves are great as well. But he ends up going out to Raikou as I am able to burn it great. Because uh, what I can do now is just go directly into my Magnezone. Out slow him, which is a phrase that I like to say. Basically, even with my Choice Scarf, I'm slower than Magnezone, uh, or Raikou, and I can get off uh, a slow Volt Switch versus him. What I'm actually going to choose to do is go for the Flash Cannon, because I kind of expect him to Volt Switch on out of there into, I guess, Landorus or his Latias. And if I go for Flash Cannon, I get off any damage on him. Perfect for me. Um, he's definitely Assault Vest Raikou. He took 41% from my attack, but he ends up going out to Volcarona. Interestingly enough, had I went for Thunderbolt right there or Volt Switch, it would have been put me in a great position. But I'm going to go directly into my Garchomp as uh, I can definitely take on any attack he wants to go for. He could also double right now, I suppose. Maybe in the Keldeo, but Garchomp wins. At the same time, though, Volcarona is an issue. Uh, he's definitely running Lumberry, so he could have HP Ice. Ah, this could be bad. I could just lose right now. I'm going directly into Garchomp. I have to. I don't think I have another play. As he goes right for Quiver Dance. Uh, he could definitely have HP Ice right here. If he has HP Ice, then Keldeo beats him. But I'm going to go for Earthquake right here. Let's see if he actually has HP Ice. I don't know if he has it. He doesn't necessarily need it because his entire team weakens Landers as well as Garchomp. Goes for the Bug Buzz. Is going to give me my Salic Berry boost, which is a little bit sad for me. Just because um, I, I would have rather him not get... Obviously, I mean, it's good right now because... I outspeed the Volcarona and I can threaten it with the uh, Dragon Claw as he actually stays in so there wasn't even him he didn't even switch out fearing um, or trying to save it for later that way he could heal and wish it back up with his Lottie but he goes out to Landorus I uh, I kind of just want to weaken this thing with the Dragon Claw for my uh, Altaria so I'll let him knock me out with the U-turn so like I said Garchomp could have definitely won me the game 
but I was put into a position where I <laughs> I couldn't risk chomp. Um, if he goes Gross, I trap it with zone and knock it out with T-Bolt. If he goes Raikou, I can defog away the hazards. He goes Alias, though. Um, what is my play of choice? I really kind of want to force a Draco from him. But I want to save Magnezone as well. Um, pretty sure Altari can take a hit, but I think I got to force a Draco and then try and drag it up and win the game. Because I just win with that, if you did not know. I don't think he has BP because he switched out with Gross too. I could go Landorus. Uh, this is an issue for the team, so. Alright, so I'll go Lottie. I'll, I'll risk a speed tie right here. The reason I'm doing this is because, one, I think he specs Keldeo, not Scarf. Uh, just looking at the makeup of this team. And two, I don't. What is my other play? So I'm going to drop a Draco on this guy. If he's HP Fire, great. I don't know if he'd be HP Fire. He's a little bit weak to Scizor. A little bit, so he could definitely be HP Fire. Really weak to Bisharp as well. Um, Caldeo is being his main check. I don't consider Volcarona a check to Bisharp at all. But we win a speed tie right there. So Lottie is gone. And I'll be able to defog away the hazards as well. Um, if I want to, of course. Uh, as Metagross is going to come out. Now... I could choose to go for Defog right here. If his Keldu isn't Scarf, then it's actually, no, Defog is better for me because that way my uh, Altaria doesn't take any unnecessary damage from him as he actually ends up having Pursuit, so it's good I didn't switch. So at least I got out on top with something right there. And if I win another Speed Tie, I actually kill him with the uh, Volt Switch. So that'd be great. Um, because he has Pursuit, again, I don't think he has Bullet Punch. And again, like I said, if I win another Speed Tie, I do kill him with the Volt Switch. So all I need is like 10% more damage on him. Um, as I do end up winning the speed tie, so uh, Metagross is going to go down to the Volts, which basically in the following turn, as he's able to knock me out with the Ice Punch. So Pursue Ice Punch, I'm, I'm assuming Dual Stab is his other moves. And uh, I'll be able to trap him because of Magnet Pull. Go right for Volt Switch, getting rid of the Metagross, and then uh, go directly into Keldeo, because Keldeo threatens... Keldeo basically forces Raikou to come in. As he ends up forfeiting. Yeah, it was basically the game. My combination of Pokemon could be his combination of Pokemon. To go a little bit more in depth with that, if Raikou comes out, it has three turns it's on a timer. Uh, once I Dragon Dance up with Altaria, I won. I could even stay in, predicting him to go for the uh, HP Ice. I could even go directly into Landorus, because Landorus would not go down to an HP Ice from full, because he's in Salt Vest variant. I also had Magnezone, which can come in on any one attack. Basically, as long as I kept Raikou in, either my Keldeo won or my Altaria won. But uh, we're going to look for another game right here. Uh, we're at eight minutes. Okay. Or roughly 8 minutes. That's not that bad. That's not that bad at all. Again, I'm not going to make these too long. Um, roughly 25 to 30 minutes just because um, I like to do a little bit of laddering on screen. But I also like to do a little bit off screen because I can, you know, I can play a lot faster when I don't have to talk about my thought process at all. I'm sorry. I just drank some water as well. Throw it a little bit. Of but uh, we got another game. And uh, my, ooh, he has Drill and Gengar and Ferrothorn. Why does he have... Uh, the hell just happened? Why does he have like 4,000 checks to Altaria? Really weak to SD Garchomp though. And I'm really weak to Conk there. I'm actually going to lead off with Landers, expecting him to lead off with uh, Conk as he ends up leading off with Excadrill. Uh, that's fine. I can just get up my rocks right here. He does have that. I want to go for rocks, but at the same time, I think I want to go for U-turn. Yeah, I'm going for U-turn. Uh, because if Gengar comes out, I'm in a bad position, and I need to keep up some offensive... I can't switch into Gengar with this team. So while rocks are great... Well, they might actually be the better play. Um, I can get them up later. Nah, I gotta go for rocks right here. Whatever. What? He's a... He's slow drill? Why? That's weird. I didn't expect him to get up rocks right there, but I don't think I mind them as much as he minds them. Uh, he could be Focus Sash, Slow Drill, I'm not entirely sure. I don't think he actually has a Focus Sash on it. I guess his Spike er, is Ferrothorn, so I guess Ferrothorn is a Spiker is more so what I meant to say. But I'll just click Earthquake right here. I don't care that he has a Gengar. Um, then again, U-Turn is the more aggressive and probably the better play. Let me go for U-Turn. He could be Focus Sash though, but why is he Min Speed Excadrill? That is weird. All right, so we'll just go for U-Turn just to keep up some momentum. Uh, if Gengar comes out, then what U-Turn does is it puts it in range of um, Thunderbolt, I believe, from my from my Scarf Magnezone. Uh, but then again, Magnezone is actually pretty nice in this because it does trap Ferrothorn. I'm kind of weak to Clefable, but because I do have two boosters in Garchomp as well as in Altaria, I'll be in okay position anyway. Uh, again, I'm tr really weird that he has Min Speed Excadrill. 
never know what you face. Oh, actually, let me show you my rank. My rank. So I'm 21 and one, and he stayed in. So I guess he's either Scarf or I have no idea what he is. But uh, in any case, I lost one to an Air Cutter Zapdos because he Thunder Waved me and Air Cut Crit, and f well, basically just Thunder Wave paired my Altaria to death. But he goes for the Rapid Spin. As he was a leftovers variant, what are you doing? Huh? Buddy? Alright, I'm going right. <laughs> what? You would have died to Earthquake no matter what. I don't even know what that play was. I'm going right back on the lander, so I'm getting on my rocks. He's staying in and going for Earthquake or Rapid Spin or going Clef. Yep, knew it. I figured I'd basically uh, size up my opponent from the first three turns. Um, again, I'm still a little bit lower on the ladder. But uh, 1450, so it's still kind of low. Um, hopefully, again, this is just me trying to climb. So I'm gonna get my rocks right here. If he wants to click rapid spin, that's fine. I'll be gaining leftovers recovery from it. So um, he could also just go for another iron head. And after that, I'm gonna click earthquake because if he stayed in, I expected him to be focus ash. Yes, I did outspeed him. But um, again, he is clicking rapid spin. But I feel like his patience will wear out clicker. Oh, uh, quicker. Excuse me, clicker. Ooh, been watching the nappies on the last of me play through. I felt like his patience would have worn out uh, quicker than mine. So I'm going to U-turn out right here as he goes Feral Thorn. He does see I have Magnezone. Uh, he could be a Bulldoze Feral Thorn. He could blow me back right now. That is uh, that is a possibility. Never, ever, ever, ever count anything out on this side of the ladder. Never. So let's see if he has Rocky Helmet. Yes, he does. So I can trap him with Magnezone and then proceed to Dragon Dance up with my Altaria and win the game. As he goes for Leech Seed, completely fine. I don't know if he's unaware Clef, but... I'm going to Dragon Dance up on him, or on his, uh, it depends what type of uh, Charizard he is as well, but I'll DD up on him, uh, either this or this with my Altaria, so, uh, because Ferrothorn is trapped, I don't know why they keep just letting me trap it so easily, they're not even, I, I, even if he has Protect, he needs, like, a Triple Protect to be able to beat me, uh, 1v1, unless he does have Bulldoze, but he just lays up his Spikes, which is cool, um, I do have Defogger on my team, so I'm not too, too, too worried. Then again, Zard X is an issue with all these hazards up, especially because my Lanners is low, and it very well looks like it's Zard X because he doesn't have a Pursuit Trapper. So, alternatively, right here, I could switch out and try and defog away the hazards, but I'd rather get rid of Feral Thorn and hope he doesn't go out to Zard. That's a that's a play I'd rather make right here. But um, he doesn't protect, which is cool. I'm gonna just skip this turn right here. He needs a double protect in order to live. The next one. This is a little bit annoying, but this is something that can. Uh, that can definitely happen. <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry. I'm just remembering something from my Nuzlocke episode um, that I believe was just uploaded today. Should have just recently been uploaded on my channel. But uh, in any case, I, I don't know what he's thinking about. It's either go for a protect or let me kill you. It's, it's honestly his only plays that he can make uh, simply because I, I unless he has the Shed Shell in his pocket that I can't see, maybe behind this thorn right here. I'm not sure what he's thinking about, honestly. Can I just hit you with an HP fire, please? Test. Yeah, there's no lag. Or if there is, it's very little. Like, he's just thinking about this. There's no other play to make right here, but I think I'm just going to pause it until he makes a move bear back. All right, so that guy ended up timing out, and uh, we got this Chansey offense going on right here. Landers is a great lead because it can get up rocks. It stops Scizor, Chansey, um, Superior. I'm not too worried about Superior because I do have Altaria that can beat it 1v1. Uh, Mega Altaria actually sweeps him once I trap Scizor, uh, if I can trap it. So I'm going to lead off with Landers as he leads off with the one counter to my entire team, which is uh, Weavile. And uh, I have to switch directly into my Caldeo. He could definitely go for knockoff, predicting that. Uh, then again, though, he doesn't know if I'm Scarf Landers, just because I do have Garchomp on the team. So he actually switches out into Electros, uh, probably fearing me to be Scarf Landers. As, um... I guess he could have HP Ice on this Electros. It's not that likely, though. I really want to get up my rock. So I'm going to go right back out into my Landris. Uh, Electros is probably a Salt Vest, so I couldn't do too much to him anyway, as he has Acid Spray. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. This man making plays. Um, SD Garchomp can also sweep him once I beat the uh, Weavile. So I'm going to get my rocks right here. He has form of hazard control is potentially a scissor. Um, as he actually has the Giga Drain, he doesn't have the uh, HP Ice as I expected. They don't usually run that uh, from the Electros that I have faced. I think Electros is actually a pretty cool option in OU just because of its um, immunity to everything. <laughs> uh, ground basically it doesn't have a weakness. So I'm going to go directly into my uh, Latios because I should be able to beat it 1v1 with the, um, with the Psy Shock. 
Uh, he definitely does have Scizor he can go out into, but I can always pivot from my Landorus into Scizor and then just go out to my Magna Zone. As Psyshock is going to hit him a lot harder than Draco would. <laughs> As he goes for Thunder, watch him get the pair. No. Wow. Uh, I really don't want to mess around with this part of the ladder, but I need to go for Roost. That way I can take on um, Breloom's Mach Punch if he gets the plus two and stuff like that. Thankfully, he does miss the Thunder. I mean, I don't really care if he hit as long as he didn't paralyze me, but he is going to sack his Electros pretty big for me. Um, he doesn't have a ground um, immunity anymore. He does have the resistance, of course, being superior, but that means that my Garchomp never has to switch on moves. Not that it really matters per se, but uh, he goes up to Superior. I'm just going to drop a Draco on this thing. Uh, as he is going to glare me, so there's a reason why I didn't. <laughs> there's a reason why I didn't go out into my uh, Altaria right there, which sweeps him completely. But I'm gonna drop another Draco, as uh, he did have glare. So if if I break through this, then I can beat him. Um, as I do, thankfully break through. I do connect. Superior is gonna go down. That is still making Breloom a bit of an issue. I guess Altaria still outspeeds it though, and can just go right for the. Um, Artaria can just go right for the uh, return and knock it out. So I'm actually going to go out to my landers right here, pivot from the Scizor. I don't want to go directly into my Magna Zone because I don't want him superpowering, and he could also go for U-Turn as well. He goes for SD though. I um, I don't care per se. I can just go right for Earthquake, do as much damage as possible, and put him in range of the um, I put him in range of the HP Fire. There's no variant of Scizor that can beat that can beat my Magna Zone at all. Uh, I don't need max HP on it in order to beat him as well. I can also make the play directly into Magnezone right now as he actually ends up going for BP. So that's fine because Magnezone will be able to trap him right here. Go right for HP Fire. I'm really surprised he's not switching into Chansey on any of my special attackers. Um, obviously he can't do that right now because he is trapped and I can easily just go for HP Fire. I think it was Offensive Scissor with some HP investment. So and offensively maybe like offensive moves and SD superpower Roost and stuff like that but goes out into Breloom because Scarf Zone is actually slower than Weavile I'm just going to stay in and go right for the Hidden Power of Fire uh, as he goes for Protect are you sub seeding Breloom in this in this year? holy crap so I'm actually going to switch out into my um, Latios because he's Protect not sub seeding but the Drain Punch Leech Seed set as uh, that is able to to a KO my Latios looking like it. Um, I ended up getting paralyzed even when I didn't want to, <laughs> which is pretty funny uh, considering, you know, I tried to dodge the Thunder, which I did, but I can go right onto my Altaria now and just Mega Evolve and click Return. Breloom's gonna die. Chansey is hopefully 2 KO'd. Uh, it should be kind of close. It's probably gonna do around 40% to Chansey, so it might not be a 2 KO after Rocks, but Breloom is gonna go straight down. And um, again, that Weavile is an issue, but it's looking like I just click Spec Streak at Sword and I win the game at this point, so. I think that's what I'm gonna go for. Uh, Ch again, Chansey's gonna come out, and I'm just gonna go directly on my Garchomp. Uh, Garchomp makes it take rough skin. Uh, if he goes for Toxic, that's fine. If he goes for Thunder Wave, great. I dodge it. Uh, as he does, go for the uh, Toxic, and uh, what I can do is just SD up right here. Basically, all I gotta do is let my Garchomp die, go out into my Caldeo, and win the game. So, I'm gonna SD up just so I do more damage to him as he hits me with a Seismic Toss. So, that's great because he even takes my rough skin damage when he didn't really need to. He could have just spammed, um, probably Soft Boiled. But uh, I'll be able to go right for the Earthquake, and uh, if I don't knock out Chansey, then it's not going to be able to recover enough with the Soft Boiled at that point. And then Weavile just loses to Caldeo, clicking Secret Sword. So at this point, it's just about not throwing away the win. And the only way I can throw away the win is if I switch out... Sorry, I just like... Sorry again, I just smacked my mic against the uh, back of my chair. But the only way I can throw the game away at this point is just if I switch out indefinitely and let Weavile SD up to plus 6. So Weavile's going to come out, and... Um, at this point and then it's gonna have to go for ice shard especially because I got my salic berry uh, boost boost as um, again he has to go for ice shard as I'm just gonna click earthquake one more time and um, obviously we was gonna be able to revenge kill me but I can go right onto my Caldeo and just click spec secret sword and that will be game um, unless we've all has like protect disable and then I sort of crash flinches my man is on to death and then he just flinches oh my god he had aerial ace okay but I'm able to knock him out with the secret sword and that is gonna be game as uh, we're gonna look for another game Might as well. I see no reason not to uh, I actually don't even know how much time we're at. I know it's six minutes right here and then It's right about uh, 19 minutes ish. So I'm gonna pause it until we find another one. We'll be right back All right, so we got another game right here and um, again, we're still on the lower ladder a bit. Let's look at our rank uh, 1432 if I trap Skarmory, I can beat him with uh, SD Garchomp or Altaria 
at any given point. So I'm actually going to lead off with Zone just in case he wants to lead off with that Skarmory. As he leads off with Scrafty. Scrafty is a huge, huge threat. So I'm just going to Volt Switch on out of there. Um, it looks to be offensive Scrafty. I want to go directly into my Keldeo because I can threaten it with the Spec Secret Sword. I can live any hit after a Dragon Dance anyway. Uh, I could have went directly into Altaria, but um, again, Keldeo just beats him 1v1. He can Drain Punch Recover. And like I said, I am lower on the ladder, so... I guess um, I'm not always going to play the most uh, skilled opponents, but this is a threat. This actually beats my entire team. I can't even switch out versus this. What do I go to? Landorus? No. Garchomp beats him. I think Latios is actually expendable. It doesn't beat anything on the team. It doesn't beat Porygon. It doesn't beat Ark. Is outsped by this. Um, the, and I couldn't go directly into Altario because if he Dragon Pulse, Altario would have died to any given attack after that. So I'm going to drop a Draco right now. Uh, if he wants to stay in, that's fine. He ends up going out to Excadrill, surprisingly enough. As that does a hell of a lot because I do get a crit. Not bad. And I'm just going to drop another Draco as he actually has Rock Tomb. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. We'll get a couple more games after this just because I feel like we can get... Definitely, we're not uh, having the the best games right now. But he goes on to, back into Sceptile. I guess he was fearing me to be Scarf. I am not... No way in hell am I missing Draco Meter. You better not miss Latios. Because if he gets a sub, it doesn't even matter because I do have Altaria, so I don't really care if he gets a sub. But my boy Latios is not going to miss. Not today. He knows I need to hit this. Come on. One more, buddy. Just one more friend. He's right in front of you. Nice. Okay, I appreciate you weakening your, uh, your Sceptile, bro. So, going to go directly into my Altaria and just click the uh, return. As it will be able to knock out Sceptile, it does more damage to... That actually does a lot. I get your dream actually did a lot more than I expected, but I'm just going to attack what's in front of me um, at this point in the ladder as Porygon is going to come out. Does Porygon beat me? Does Porygon actually beat me? I'm going to go Magna Zone and then, um, because I don't want him going for the, I don't want him going for the Thunderbolt or anything along those lines. Porygon is a threat, but I'm able to go for the Volt Switch as he goes out into Arcanine. And uh, what I can do right now is go directly out into my Specs Caldeo and click Scald. And this is the position I want to be in because Specs Caldeo can knock out Arcanine and it also has that chance to burn Porygon, which is something I want. Kind of expect him to stay in though, uh, just because it's a little the trend he's been doing as he does stay in. So I'm able to knock him out with the Scald as um, at this point Skarmory is going to come out interesting. I'm going to go directly into my uh, Magna Zone. Uh, because I don't want to take a Brave Bird or something like that. As he doubles back in the port, I'm trapped. He got me. <laughs> no, he doesn't have. He has. Uh, he has download. So I'll be able to Volt Switch on out of there, and um, go on to Landorus, and just go for Earthquake just to get off some damage. As he goes for Thunder Wave, call it a prediction, folks. But uh, I'll be able to go for Earthquake, get off a bit of damage on this Porygon, and put him in range of the Spec Secret Sword. Easily in range of the Spec Secret Sword at that. Good lord. Unless he has Ice Beam, he's not beating me either which he only has try attack for uh, as he burns me so never mind he is going to be able to beat me but uh, what i will do is just get up rocks that way skarmory sturdy is broken <laughs> try attack is so broken man um after the next burn turn try attack does knock me out so i hope he goes for it that way he's in range of specs secret sword yep great and uh, i can go directly out into my caldeo and just click specs secret sword knocking out porion it should be able to knock out porion just based on that earthquake damage from a defensive landers just 34 percent so this is a specs secret sword easily be able to knock him out and uh if skarmory wants to come out i'm gonna go directly into my magna zone and even if he has like what is it natural gift ground i don't know uh, he even whirls me whirls me right back out into my caldeo so i'll be able to click spec scald i don't even have to risk hydro pump as um scald is gonna do like 70 percent to this skarmory and uh, unless he's spadef and even then it's going to do a lot of damage to him so i'm actually going to start looking for i'm actually going to start looking for another game just because this game is basically over and i at least want to get like a really nice game to uh to end this live as uh i've been getting some really interesting teams but he goes right for braver is he able to pick off my uh, caldeo but um skarmory is going to go down is going to be the end of the game so what we will do is um I guess pause it until we find another one. We'll be right back. So we have our final game of the uh, day. Um, I'm saying that just because I, I'm running out of time, like I said. And don't worry, in the next episode, I'll be higher up on the ladder. So we'll get some, we'll get a lot better games. But uh, my opponent's team is very threatening. Um, I can get up rocks and then maybe sweep him with Altaria. But he has Venusaur plus Scizor. I'm thinking it's regular Scizor plus... Uh, I'm thinking it's 
Regular Scissor plus uh, Mega Venusaur, and Mega Venusaur is a threat to him. I think that SD Garchomp can sweep him. I'm actually going to lead off a Magnezone just in case he leads off with anything that is not um, anything that is not this, but I don't really have a switch in for this, so I'm going to Volt Switch on out of there, and uh, what do I do after that? I don't, I don't have a switch in for this. Caldeo is not that useful in this game. So what I'll do is I'll actually Volt Switch out into my Caldeo, but he ends up going out into his uh, Venusaur, so what I actually want to do is go out into my, uh, my Latios right here, and okay, if he wants to pull a double into Zapdos, that's fine, but I'm going to try and trap his uh, Scizor as quickly as possible with my Magnezone, as um, Scizor is the Pokemon he actually ends up going out into, so I'm able to trap that, and this should be a regular Scizor, so it should go down. Wow! Barely miss out on the KO, as it is a Bandit Scizor, and um, I'll be able to go right out into my Landorus and... U-turn is probably my best play. Yeah, U-turn is my best play because it kills Scizor if he stays in. And also if he goes Latios or Zapdos, one of his defoggers, that's fine as well. Um, as he goes Zapdos, and um, Zapdos is a bit of an issue to me. I uh, Man, I got absolute men on that Scizor too. But I have to go right out into my, uh, my Latios and hope he doesn't have the, the HP. Uh, Thunder Wave, excuse me, the HP, what? Thunder Wave, but he has Toxic, so that's cool because now what I can do is just drop a Draco on him and knock him out. I, um, but then Dragonite comes out, but then again, Dragonite cannot touch Altaria unless he has Iron Head, so, which I hope he does not, but I'll be able to drop a Draco as he actually makes the play into Latios, so he sacks Latios as well as Zapdos is low, which means when I get up Rocks, they should be there to stay. I should easily be able to get up Rocks as well versus the majority of his team. Gengar is definitely an issue though, but Dragonite is going to come out. And uh, what I am going to do is go right out into my Landers just to get off that Intimidate. And then you turn out into my Altaria. I'm going to expect the Dragon Dance. So, again, I don't want him to be uh, Weakness Policy, so I just want to go for for U-Turn. He's probably going to Dragon Dance up again. That's fine. Um, simply because, I'll, again, I'm breaking his Multi-Scale. By not and also not giving him a potential weakness policy boost, and I can go right out into Altaria. I live one hit at this at plus one, and I can just Mega Evolve and go right for the return. Uh, I kind of expect him to switch out into his um, Venusaur, but he decides to stay in, sacking his Dragonite. Great, definitely because um, Gengar is still an issue. Uh, Altaria does nothing for me, so I'm just gonna go for a return as he goes for Icy Wind. Oh man, this Gengar's a threat, but I can go out to Caldeo and click Scald, and um. Scald will kill Gengar, or at least do some damage to Gengar. This thing is such a huge threat, man. I might have to win a speed tie in order to win this. Maybe I should click Hydro Pump as well. But I expect him to switch out into Venusaur. So, I have to switch out now into Landorus. And the reason I say Landorus is because I need Rocks up to break a potential Focus Sash on his Gengar. Because his Gengar could definitely be Focus Sash. I need it to kill Scizor. And I can also kill Zapdos with the Stone Edge. So I need it to go Landorus right here. As he goes for Giga Drain. Uh, that does a lot. That does a hell of a lot, one might say, but I want to kill the uh, Scizor with the Stealth Rock as well as potentially kill Landorus um, or break any Focus Sashes, so I'll gladly, gladly sack my Landorus that way um, I can just click Earthquake right here as he's going to be able to knock me out with the next Giga Drain, but now I can go right out into my uh, Latios and just click Psy Shock. Um, Psy Shock knocks out Venusaur, knocks out Zapdos. And uh, Scizor dies to Stealth Rock, so there's no immediate threat. He actually ends up staying in as well, so he sacks Venusaur, and that means I just win with Keldeo right now, um, assuming Keldeo can knock out Gengar. Keldeo's Skull does 94 to 1, whatever, so. I actually want to go directly into my Garchomp right here. Uh, I'll save, because um, I see win, uh, obviously, it doesn't matter about the speed boost, but I, I didn't expect him to go for the. Uh, I see, and I expect him to go for Shadow Ball right there, especially because I had Keldeo, but he's able to a KO me, and I can go right out to my Keldeo, and the Scald does 94 to 112% to Gengar, so I'm just going to click Scald right here, as uh, as Scizor is going to go down. We already know his Zapdos is a bulky variant, and we already know I do outspeed. He's at 22%. I don't know who you're trying to bluff. I know you're a bulky variant, unless you run just enough speed on your Scarf set to outslow Latios, but outspeed... Um, <laughs> But outspeed uh, Caldeo, but in any case, I'll be able to click Scald right here as uh, he is going to go for Sludge Wave and uh, Scald will be able to knock out the Gengar and that is going to be a good game. So we're just going to leave this episode at that. Um, some really weird teams, definitely. Uh, we are still not that high on the ladder. 
But this guy's team was pretty standard. Um, but we're still not that high on the ladder. We're at around 1,500, I believe, which is not anywhere near top 500 either. But uh, in any case, I will be climbing. In the next episode, I will be in the 1600s or 1700s when I record. So I hope you guys all enjoy. Feel free to leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to catch some more Pokemon on my channel. And until next time, guys, later.